if India were to make peace with any one team winning the World T20 in our own backyard, it had to be Chris Gayle's Caribbean party admitted. So on Sunday, West Indies became the first team to lift the World T20 title for a second time after beating England in the final, but not without a few tense moments. Darren Sammy won the toss and elected to bowl first. The openers were back in the hut within the first two overs, but Joe Root stood his ground, scoring 54 before Brad White got his wicket and England posted 155 for 9 in the 20 overs. Here, one over in and Root was measuring his runner. Lo and behold, Johnson, Charles and Chris Gale were again gone before the first two overs. Marlon Samuel swatted the ball around even as he kept losing company. 70 were needed off the last six overs and then ultimately 19 were needed off the last six balls. Ben Stokes bowling the last over didn't know what hit him. Carlos Brathwaite smashed four back-to-back -back sixes to bring West Indies home as they won the final by four wickets. A few people to thank, if I may, in Darren Sammy's own words, the disappointing West Indies cricket team. Thanks, man. Thanks for not supporting your team. Thanks for threatening them. Thanks for not picking your best 15. And thanks for not even bothering to get their jerseys made. Thanks for the motivation. Next, uh, Shane Warne. Marlon Samuels might have already thanked you enough. But thanks again. Thanks for using words like embarrassing and pretty poor to describe your own former contemporary. Just remember, Marlon Samuels 2016 World T20 Final. 85 off his back. And finally, Mark Nicholas, what's that you wrote in your column again? West Indies are shadow brains? Well, they seem to remember your name just fine when they lifted their second World T20 trophy. And finally, thank you. Thank you to West Indies. Thank you for the memories.